Hello. In this session, let us try to understand ASP.NET Core middleware and pipeline. Basically, middleware is a component that assembled into app pipeline to handle requests and responses. Each component or middleware can choose whether to pass the request to next component in the pipeline or not and can perform work before and after the next component in the pipeline. Typically request pipeline looks like this. There are multiple middleware components which are responsible to handle requests. We can set the order of middleware execution in the request pipeline in configure method of startup class. Each middleware does its job and passes control to next middleware. The last middleware in the pipeline which doesn't pass control to any other middleware is generally known as terminator. These middleware components can be either framework provided or added via NuGet packages or even our own custom middlewares. We can configure middlewares using use, run and map extension methods. Apart from that there are few other like use when map when if you want to learn more about them you can check the link given in description let us try to understand this using simple example create new asp.net core empty web application i named it middleware demo once created come to startup.cs file here you can see configure service and configure two methods are present out of which configure service is optional and we don't need it right now so we can comment it but configure method is compulsory you can see there are couple of middlewares automatically added by template to understand concept better let us remove them and add our own middlewares the simplest middleware we can write using run extension method so it will look something like this app is an instance of application builder and it provides run extension method which takes context as a parameter and using this context object we can write any text on the response so now in our pipeline there is single middleware what does it mean it means that each and every request that will come to this application will be handled by this middleware and you will get this string as an output. Let us run the application and try it out. So it will hit this breakpoint and this middleware will handle this request and you will get that text in the response. You can try requesting some other endpoints for example employees. It will give you same result. Let us try some other route. And again you will get same result so basically run middleware terminates your pipeline if you want to do some operation and then want to pass control to the next middleware then we have to use use extension method let us try it out use extension method takes two parameter context and next next is actually delegate pointing to the next middleware in the pipeline so inside this middleware you can do some stuff before passing control to the next middleware then you can pass control to the next middleware so it will come to here then it should print this line and then it will go back and again you can do some other stuff let us execute and see the result and as you might have guessed output will look like this now let us try map extension method the first parameter of map extension method is the route or url if we will request this particular url then this is a handler which will get executed so let us generate code for this rename obj to app and now same way 
we can have run middleware which will write this string on the response so basically we are branching out our pipeline to some different flow when client will request this url let us try it out now let us visit that route and you can see that the string is from mapped middleware now let us try custom middleware so let us add a class to write custom middleware add new class my custom middleware now there are various ways you can create your custom middleware one is by implementing i middleware interface and another is using conventional middleware so we will be using that technique so the very first thing that we will need in this middleware class is our request delegate which will hold reference to next middleware and we need to set up it using constructor and as per convention the second thing is invoke async method so in this method we will do some pre-processing and then we can call next middleware after completing execution in the next middleware control will come back to this middleware and then we can do some post processing and then we will return the response now we want to put this middleware in our pipeline order is very important in this pipeline if we want to make our custom middleware a first middleware in the pipeline then we have to register it here application builder provides extension method use middleware using which we can configure our custom middleware so now you can see that the first control will go to our custom middleware so it will print this message then it will call next middleware in the pipeline which is this middleware and it will print this message and then it will go to next middleware in the pipeline which is this one it will print this message as this is terminating middleware control will go back here it will print this message and then it will go back to the custom middleware to print this message let us check the output if it is as expected you can see that first it is in custom middleware then in use middleware then in run middleware then back in use middleware and back in custom middleware so these are few important things that you should know about middleware configuration as we have seen the order of middleware in the pipeline is very important in typical asp.net application this is a sequence of middleware you can see that the very first middleware is an exception handler as it is the first middleware the calls to other middleware will go through it it can handle exception rest in any of the next middleware then there is hsts https redirection static files routing cors authentication authorization then you can have your own custom middlewares and the last is endpoint middleware which maps with your controller endpoints and executes action methods on particular routes so this is terminating middleware then endpoint middleware itself executes some filters so this is a sequence of that filters you can read more about it in the link now with this basic understanding of middleware you can go to our project project orion and go to the startup configure method and examine the sequence of middleware you can see that if environment is development environment then you are using developer exception page middleware this means that if your application will throw exception then it will redirect to developer exception page then we are configuring swagger middleware then https redirection if we will request our application using http url it will automatically get redirected to https use routing so it will build the graph or collection of routes it will check if user is authorized to request that particular route or not in next session we will apply all this knowledge by writing middleware for handling exceptions at global level let us stop here if you find this content useful please like and subscribe if you wish to receive notification whenever new episode is published then do not forget to hit bell icon and click on all in that pop up thank you